I could not think of a better name for this video than I don't know who's trolling who anymore. I love that picture and it is so true true to the American political system. Obviously you can't see this too well yet again, my new flow chart of the American political system, but I will go over it with you. It is a one dimensional so I can't like circle around it and make an orb, but Occupy Wall Street. This is where it all starts right now. This seems to be the most relevant issue of today. It is obviously supported by Anonymous, who doesn't like the American Communist Party, even though many Occupy Wall Street occupants uh, are communists and socialists. So this already right here is kind of a contradiction. Anonymous also obviously hates Fox News. They're threatening to hack them. Fox News does not like Occupy Wall Street. That's why Anonymous threatened to hack Fox News to begin with. Fox News also doesn't like the American Nazi Party because, um, you know, Fox News is the stereotypical American conservative and uh, typical Americans don't like Nazis. Uh, however, the American Nazi Party has been willing to work with Occupy Wall Street and has said many good things about them. Uh, obviously the American Nazi Party isn't calling itself that now. I don't know what they're currently calling themselves. I don't care. The American Nazi Party has always had a firm ally in the Black Panther Party. Uh, George Rockwell and Malcolm X used to be buddy buddy buddy. The Black Panther Party supported by the Democratic Party. Or rather, uh, the Black Panthers helped the Democratic Party win in the 2008 elections by standing outside of voting booths with fucking nightsticks. So, uh, there's a connection there. The Democratic Party obviously doesn't like Fox News, and Fox News doesn't like the Democratic Party. Uh, Fox News also doesn't like Westboro Baptist Church. I forgot to mark this here, but I don't think any buddy likes Westboro Baptist Church, but it seems more so that the right wing focuses on how they're not like the religious right, and uh, the left wing wants to proclaim that they are. So no one is claiming ownership of Westboro Baptist Church. They're over here all alone. The religious right in this country has no voice. They are of no threat to you. Your precious abortions and fag marriages are no danger. So that's a non-issue. Fox News is supported by the Republican Party. Who does Anonymous like? Well, Anonymous only seems to like Ron Paul. That seems to be the only person they ever fucking talk about, and it has been since 2007, which is uh, an extension of the Libertarian Party. And the Libertarian Party is an extension of the Republican Party. What a coincidence. And Libertarian Party also seems to have a lot in cahoots with the American Nazi Party. Uh, if you notice, a lot of libertarians are white supremacists, or at least are neutral toward white supremacy. Uh, this has just been my experience, and I've, I've yet to meet a libertarian that either didn't care or was outright a white supremacist. Um, so what you notice here is that everything comes back one way or another to Nazis, Republicans, or libertarians. What does that mean? Well, that means that uh, no matter which way you go on this very crudely drawn map, um, you come back to imperialism, to arcane capitalism, to corruption, to big business, and fascism. Because fascism is capitalism in decay. Uh, you know, fascism is merely the third way protectionist, uh, we want to stay rich nationalist mentality and that's why the Black Panthers are in cahoots with them because you know the Black Panthers want reparations for their race but not for every race they don't want to end the race wars they don't want to end the class wars they merely want their side to win so when you get right down to it all of this is reactionary all of this is counter-revolutionary all of this is just social fascism, as um, Marx would have called it. Uh, there are other more uh, modern terms, red fascism, whatever. But there is no left-wing movement in America, or in the West in general. It all comes back to fascism and capitalism. 
that's why I say I don't know who's trolling who anymore, because it's just capitalist versus capitalist versus more capitalist. And uh, you need to get that through your head before you join any of these organizations, because you know what? They're not looking out for you. Occupy Wall Street is not going to care that the cops bust your ribs w wide open. Uh, Anonymous is not going to have your back when the FBI kick down your door and confiscate your computer. Uh, the CCCP is not going to cover your ass when they accuse you of domestic terrorism for supporting anarchism and radical socialism. The Black Panther Party is going to call you a race traitor the moment you're even five miles within a white person. Uh, y you know, no matter what you come down to, these people People are looking out for themselves, for their gang colors. They're not looking out for you. So you need to be very careful about where you put your allegiances. Because if you notice, they're willing to get in bed with some weird friends and even weirder enemies. And it all comes circling back into this clusterfuck of fascism and neo-capitalism and all this shit. Ayn Rand would have definitely approved. So that's all I have to say for now.